few things now. Let's see. Normally I get an earlier start, but I was eating a delicious meal. Fine, I think this is going to be a weird one. Guppy, oh my god. I think my boss just followed me on Twitch. <clears throat> <laughs> well, now you got to watch your language. Ah, fuck that. No. <laughs> All right, I got to turn off the extension or make the extension work correctly. Overlay set. We are campaign selection. Now we're doing solo run season four and we only need Glorian. Save configuration. All right, so that's all set up. And then channel points. No, he did buy the new map, and Kayla would have explained it to him because he looked like a moron. <laughs> Paid a little like extra a very... for that translation. <laughs> yeah. All right. In the most condescending manner of like, this is the start. <laughs> See this here? This is death. He's like, so you mean glory? <laughs> no, death. Glory, you <laughs> you pronounce yeah. glory strangely. <laughs> All right. Random encounter is turned on. I do believe I have a six. Oh, yep, sixty minute timer on that. <clears throat> there is lost that one. there is a suggestion uh, spell that is ready for you as well. Uh, they can just suggest which direction. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm going to start pulling up all of my documents. Level 1. Alright. Got my books in front of me. Pull out the Google Docs. You, uh, you can move. Well, I'll try moving. <clears throat> uh, you can set up your hot bar however you like. Yeah, I'll get <clears throat> uh, They warn you that uh, they're about the halfway down that your 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 flaming sword will turn off. It's probably gonna light a torch just as a reaction to that. Let's see, and then let's see. I just need this one. By the way, holy crap! I saw your level two. Update. What? I saw your level two update from a few days ago. All oh, right. Uh, I need you to send me like the full map of, well, just a screenshot of the full map so I know where I am. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, I've done various things, but I don't know what I've missed. And I don't know okay. What I've done yep. twice. I will give you an update on what needs to be done. Let's <sighs> see. Why? Hold on. What Play is on that? hands. She stabbed the guy in the chest using a brick. Do you know how hard that is to stab someone using a brick? With a brick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, if, you, if you break a bit of the brick off first and you get like a jagged no, corner, but, fair but, enough, the, but... but the point is, there's no sharp edge. How does she get an right. entire brick into another person's chest? It's like that scene <laughs> in The Godfather where he like kills the guy with his own glasses. She either has to be really strong or the other person has to be like born without bones. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? By the way, I stabbed the guy with a brick. How crazy is that? It turns out it's not that hard. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that. I need to find. I need a place to. A place in Undermountain where someone was stabbed with a brick. And I can Glorian quickly brought by a brick. <laughs> Glorian. And you just have a brick on him. It's his lucky brick, which. Is <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna. Someone. All right, I need to post a tweet, a Twitter. A Twitter. Oh, there's a weird amount of spells on my spell list, so I'm just going to ignore them. Uh, da, 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 da. I just need to edit. There's like, there's like 20 spells on my spell list. <laughs> well, yeah, because you can change your spells because you're divine. Oh, so it's like a paladin. It doesn't really matter too much kind of thing. Got you. 
Chill the face. Uh, let's take this mark. Keep All right. Keep that. I'll post that. Glorian. All right, and now I open that. Have the armor master. It's fun. All right, so we are live. Nope, we are going to do. We are live with this one. There we go. Copy and paste that. Uh, next week will be a bye week from solos. Into the mist, basically. Um, I'm just. I need to write some stuff up. Apparently, the guild charter needs a little bit more lawyer speak. <laughs> Glory. Glory might do something before and, he goes down. Uh, he might be like, ah, barkeep. You just, what, anything you can tell me about what's down there? You know, is that something no one ever thinks to do? All right. Uh, shit, there's a book for that. <laughs> God damn it, there is a book for that. He wants to layer the land on, like, the initial area since, like, every <sighs> drunk in Yobo goes down there and bets, so. The fact that you, you... You're the only person who's ever done this. I have to pull out a book that hasn't been ever used. You finally get to use the book. Do it still have a new book smell? Uh, let's see. Denzins of the Yawning Portal. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm just looking because I have like three books. I need to see what book that one is in. <clears throat> of course, it's probably in fourth edition. Room purchases. Weaving the plot. I know there's a book. Is it my 3.5 book? The Dermans kind of speeches stuff, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see. It, it might be my 3.5 book. I've got pride in this CD. I can't help. This book it never gets used because one it's 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 fucking three point five. It added nothing to Undermountain. It like literally just glanced over all of Undermountain. Um <clears throat> the last level blah blah blah. Uh, you find out that there are 23 levels to this dungeon. Ah. Uh, no one we know has ever made it down all 23 levels. Is that where the wizard is? Uh, yes, that is where the wizard is. His name is Halister That Bullock. is who I must kill. Oh, God. <clears throat> Regulars, power groups... Random encounters. Here we go. Uh, you do find out a little bit of info from the the last group that went down. So that was episode two, I believe. Okay. Was the yes because we're on four four. I think this. Yeah, we're on four okay. four this week. This next One and week. two both went down this way. <clears throat> so two came up with only two people, a naked guy and this stern looking monk. The solo uh, dude went down as well, the one that came back. Yep. Uh, carried a big old sword. Um, what happened was... Oh, I need to finish this part. I forgot to do... Uh, They um, <clears throat> they ran into a bunch of vampires to the north. Ah, 
Uh, Hellspawn. And then... Let's see, I just need to ping everyone real quick. Uh, and then, let's see... Group 1 came out unscathed. Um, they're having a bunch of... They're having a goblin problem to the south. Uh, no, bandits to the north, goblins to the south. No, no, no. Vampires to the Vampire, north. Vampires, Vampires to the north, goblins Oops. to the south. Okay. I seriously cannot find that. I'll have to look that up later. That's fine. <clears throat> well, I can just do a roll and then you can fail the roll. <laughs> uh, we're we're good. Happening. We're good. You got some Convincing info. Uh, yeah, okay. looks, like, looks like you're uh, you're you're one of those solo players, huh? Or the solo. Uh, runners, huh? Yes. All right. Everyone else I ask just gives me this weird look and walks away very quickly. All right. So you have a total of 106 gold. You spent 50 of it. Uh, yeah, I was going to say this should, it should be down to 50. 50. 106. All right. So you're down to 56. Yeah. So you're, then you're down to 55 for paying one to go down. That's fine. <clears throat> All right. So before you came over and you, before you went down, you uh, got continual flame on your sword. <clears throat> I need to pull up the actual game. There we go. Um, so that way you have a, a light source. All right. So we're all squared away here. I'm going to just post this a few more times and a few more channels and then I'll, I'll be good to go. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see, friend announcements. I think the last thing he says to the bar, he'd be like, my heartfelt thanks, and then he just rigidly walks towards, like, the road there. <laughs> God damn, Glorian. Uh, let's see, advertisements. Um, make sure I can post in certain places, self-promotion. And where is it? Where is it? Shameless plugs. All right. <clears throat> I posted in all the channels. All right. So you are good. I don't really need to copy and paste you, but I will anyway. We're going to preload the scene for you. By the way, how did the last uh, run go for you? Did you have any problems uh, with any of the maps? Um, you mean like from a visual seeing everything standpoint? Yeah. No, it seemed to load fine for that, as oh. far as I can remember. All it right. seemed fine. Because I remember your inter your internet wasn't the best. Oh no, it was it was fine for the maps and stuff. Oh, perfect. That is great. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so. Let me go ahead and activate, and I will get a cough drop, and I will begin speaking what I need to speak. I'll talk to my sword. I'll talk to my sword, he says. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's getting great advice, mainly about, like, killing people. But, you know, it's great advice. All right. <laughs> All right, tweaks are out. The last echoes in the crowd's toasts and bedding whisper about you as they descend deep into the well. As the flickering light from the torches above fades, a chill overtakes you. 
and you find yourself still sinking with no end in sight. You drop slowly and steadily deeper on the rope, almost as if you were the bait on an unweighted fishing line. But the cold and the quiet of the well that surrounds you is anything but peaceful. The silence has more of a waiting quality to it. After being lowered from what, what seems like an eternity, you at last see the bottom. Below you stretches sand-covered ground and whatever fate awaits you in Undermountain. Ah, thank you, scary ceiling voice. <sighs> God this place me. looks so calm and peaceful. <laughs> oh, God. So, after you, uh, you, you were walked through the whole uh, deal, um, <laughs> you you untie your the restraint. Uh, and you give it at one tug, this single rope stays there. Uh, and then now we have several inches of sand covers the floor in this roughly square room. Broken and dented shields hang on stone walls with chalk and charcoal graffiti. The Ooh. ceiling looms a mere 10 feet above you as it does in the hallway that leads to the room to the southwest. But a 30 foot diameter hole in the ceiling forms a chimney that rises up over 100 feet. He's going to pull out that new map. All right. I I have yet to upload that map. <gasps> I know. I know. I am slacking. It is a beautiful map. It is oh so gorgeous. Well, he, 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 he imagines to pull out the map. He's pulled out the map. That's fine. And he's looking at it. Well, actually, he'd probably use the old map because it's close enough for, like, this area at least. Yeah. So we yeah. have... Uh, da, 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 hand out Gala's map. Show to players. Ah. All right, so... Mm, so according to my map, there's a door this way. To the and north. The door that way. Let's have a look. Hmm. This is just a wall. There's no door here. Yep. Uh, there are shields here. There's actually just a wall here. Um, yeah, just a, a wall. And then just 10 feet over to the right is nothing but shields again. Hmm. This looks like some sort of lame wizard bullshit. There's no lock to pick either. Hmm. Can you How would a wizard a open this? Yes. Oh you know, god. Speaking. Oh god. I fucking hate you. I forgot. I totally forgot. But there's no lock on this door, so it must be some lame wizard bullshit that keeps it shut. Hmm. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm literally just picturing you having this mo this outer dialogue with yourself. Yes. <clears throat> Sword, what do you think? Sword doesn't respond because the sword's yeah. not talking to you. But yeah. well, or do or do you really want me to speak? For the sword. If you want to speak for the sword, I'd say you speak for the sword. You know, it's just a murder sword, so... <laughs> it's just a murder sword. It's like, well, there's nothing to, ki and nothing to kill here. Yeah, you're right. Well... Mm. Think, Glorian. What will lose a wizard do to open a door? Why are you mm -hmm. thinking? Remember, that hurts your head. That's, that's right. That's what list wizards do. Fuck this. All right, so you, you start this round, shitty wizard. <laughs> so you start heading to the south. <clears throat> yep. Um, the sand gives way to two and a half foot by two and a half foot stone blocks. Oh. And I just want to—I just want to double check your character sheet. Uh, you have adamantite armor, so you are at disadvantage. On it's got heavy armor. On stealth. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So as you round the corner, <clears throat> you begin to notice that there are statues of grotesque creatures. Ah. 
uh, since you are a paladin, go ahead and give me a religion check at advantage. Okay. Uh, advantage. They, 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 there's some monsters that are definitely evil in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> but Is it a statue which I can conceivably try to rip its head off. Yes, the head part is um, protruding from the wall, so you could he wants to like try a th- like a, th- a th- you know just a knee jerk reaction. He sees it, and he's like ah, instinctively breaks its neck. So you go to stab it in the, or you go to slice at its neck. Oh, oh it's just his hand. He's gonna try and like. You know, like like a neck break kind of. Oh, thing. oh! He's gonna get up, try to put in a headlock, and try to snap the neck. But yes, it, it, it's, his, it's his reflex reaction to when something surprises him. All right. Um. Then you realize that this is a nice, sturdy, sound stone statue. Yeah. Well, this was it's two two winning two wins so far. Was it three, five? Who t- again? What, counting. It's wizard stuff. Let's go kill something. Okay. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a door here. Oh. This is an archway, uh, and it looks like somebody was uh, digging a grave. First, picking through the stone uh, in, of the ground, and then digging past that. You see a. Um, a fire pit that looks like it might have burnt out a few hours ago. There's still some red embers in in the fire pit. Mm. Does it smell of anything? Oops, sorry for the wall here. Uh, it smells smoky. It doesn't smell like somebody was cooking anything, though. Mm. It smells like a fire. Uh, and there's a tent here. Correct. Is the tent open, or is it like door shut kind of thing? Um, no, it's the, the tent flap is closed. Well, I, you like open the tent flap a little bit. All right. So the the tent flap opens up, and go ahead and give me a perception check. Perception. No. All right. <clears throat> you actually find what looks to be a torn up book. Ah, books are for the literate. God. Now he he leaves the book there. He just looks at the book and goes, huh. you know, that's it's not his thing." All right. <clears throat> and he's gonna go back the other way. Hmm. Now, according to my map, there might be a secret door around here somewhere. All hmm. right. If you He's want to go- try and like investigate the wall, like here, kind of. Oh, so this this ten foot section right here. Go ahead yeah, and give like me. This- so go ahead and give me an investigation right here for this section. Okay. Now let's see investigation. Not good at it. No. <laughs> that's that's a nice solid stone wall. Mm-hmm. Ah, no, the map must be wrong. This map's terrible. Oh well, onward. All right. Let's have a look. Top of the stairs, ah. you actually be able to uh, begin to be able to see down. Ah, there's some skulls there. Nice try, wizard, but there must be some sort of trap. <clears throat> All right. So broad steps lead down into this irregularly shaped room. I'm going to let you continue because you can't really see down fully into it. Okay. Oh, back, 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 back off of him. I'll select it off of him. Yeah, he's going to hug the side a bit because he's like, hmm, there's a trap around those skulls. Got to be. So All right. Like, By the way, as, as soon as you like... Shitty wizard. You start putting your sword uh, to start hugging the wall. You realize the sword's flames go out when you reach into the room with the sword. Uh-huh. 
more wizard bullshit. He's gonna light a torch. Okay. And then that like wave the torch into the room. Okay. The torch is uh is just fine in the room. Ah, torch one, wizard zero. <laughs> And then, yeah, he's going to, like, kind of hug this sort of, like, wall. Yep. And um, let's see. So, with this wall, um, so the vertebrae of some large beast lies scattered about the floor in a haphazard fashion. There are oh. three sets of broad stairs, one for each compass point, north, west, and south, as well as the one you just came from. Okay. Uh, on the southeastern wall here, you see the words, Certain Death to the South. And the wall you just passed said, even worse this way, pointing to the north. Ah. <laughs> I'm not sure what those say, because I can't really read very Oh, well. yeah, that's right. I'm assuming this is good. Let's see. Oh, there's a door here. Hmm. Correct. Wait a minute. He looks at his map. There was a door there? Well played, tent. Now, which way do I go? Mm. You just hear the sword go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch entire pirate stuff if he hollers. That's too long. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for that. Well, we know there's vampires up here, so I brought a steak. You have Let's steak? He has a steak. They eat and say, oh, steak. It's been years since I've had steak. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All right, duped, and I'm gonna pause you because you have a, a a light source and sneaky, 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 sneaky. Did he remember the steak sauce? All right. Continue forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's gonna try this door. All right. Go ahead and open said door. Ah. This room looks to be that of a janitor's closet. Mops, brooms, um some cleaning supplies and a giant tub what looks like just this bubbling liquid and there happens to be a half of a foot hanging out of the liquid slowly sizzling into it ah well something that can kill in that room no vampires damn And I'm going to pause it because I have to load a scene. Still taking you a little bit to load the scene. Honestly, I'm I'm thinking about uh, trying to compress the the map a little bit more <clears throat> uh, with WebP. Yeah, so normally these uh, each chunk is forty. I can get it down to like twenty. Yeah, that might be better. Honestly, I should have preloaded as soon as you went right or, or north. But He might go back, you never know. Yeah. If he finds no wizard, he's going to be like, damn, there's no wizard here. All right. Let's see. So this guy went here. Oh, ignore that line. It's fine. It's loading. Vampire. All right. Continue on. Open that door. Alrighty. Ah. <clears throat> there are three statues ahead of you. I do believe 
this is 42. Yes, it is. Three huge stone statues stand on plinths in this room, all facing east towards you. They're noble featured men in richly play, uh, fluted plate armor. They stand they stand as if in contemplation or calm judgment, armed but not threatening. A staff of uh, or a length of wood lies on the floor just east of the center statue. He steps in the room. He doesn't see any vampires. He's like, ah, that's some just lose a, wi lose a wizard stick. Well, there's no vampires here, so the map's lying. So he's going to go back the other way. He's going to leave that door open. <laughs> All right. Yada, yada, yada. These guys. He's like, up. right, well, no wizards here. So no vampires here. So he's probably going to try south or east or west. All right. Or Give me west. one second because you're a jerk. <laughs> All right. Continue forth. Oh, I'm paused. Oh. So you continue back west. Yeah, he's gonna either he's a, he's gonna go one of the two west directions. All right. Decided yet? So he's gonna go this way, this way. Well, the sword was any meaning this way, so he thinks the sword's got a good edge for like killing stuff. Well, it's a sword. Of course it's good at killing Follow your sword, you know. <clears throat> Alright, as you continue on down this hallway, standard 10 feet by 10 feet. Yeah. Wait a minute. You, you would go in circles for a while. <laughs> yeah, he, he's like a good... It's, it takes him a couple minutes to be like, hang on a second, this is a circle. <laughs> oh, it's on the map. Well played, No, map. No, it's not a circle. Circles don't have corners! Says the sword. Okay, sword. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> ah, right again, sword. What have we here? All right. So uh, ahead of you is what looks like uh, a liquid. Uh, it, would, it doesn't resemble water too much because it's very dark and there's an oily substance to it. Ah. I know how to get rid of this. Oh, Let's no. take a step back a second. Oh, God. It's going to light his torch oh, and then God. he's going to throw it into the liquid and then step around the corner. Oh, God. And then step back and be like, any second now. Oh, yeah, that's fuck. What it is. Give me a second, you son of a bitch. Do, 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 do. Boom. Uh, that number. Nope, that's not a number. That's going to burn for ages. <laughs> Assuming he just sees a wall of fire now. Just yep. Like, Give me one second. I'm. Uh, I gotta steal a color. I uh, will do dim of one hundred twenty sixty. So, <laughs> <laughs> just boom! Just this wall of heat and flame comes out. Mm. I don't think it's dying down. Does it appear to be dying down at all? No. Ah, well, we'll come back to this. Just Maybe continues to roar and just burn 
and, and you, you could have swore you saw the water level go down, but then it just r- raised back up again. The smoke, ah. the smoke is starting to get a little uh, thick here now. Yeah, he's gonna head south, and he's like, "This is ah, well, this is someone else's problem for now." <laughs> God, of course it is. All right, so that's gonna burn for at least two weeks of in-game time. Oh yeah. I hope no one wanted to go that way. <laughs> uh, all right. Continuing going south. Yeah. Ah. What over here? All right. So this... This gentleman seems to be hanging from the ceiling. As though his head and uh, right shoulder merged with the stone. There's also a a length of rope merged with the stone and coiled down uh, at your feet. I know you can't move right now because I'm just looking for another room description. And see, sword, this here is wizard bullshit. Uh, He's going to be hanging around for a while, I think. And the, the guy does have a dried look to him. Uh, and like he's been there a while, sort of. Thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's what I see here as well? Is it just like there, there's the weird pillar? Uh, mm. f- further ahead, and it looks like a bunch of orc b- or bones. Uh, two stone pillars with the ten foot wide arch between them, supported by a twenty foot high ceiling in here. Near the base of each pillar is the skeletal remains of, looks like, two adventurers. Uh, you say orcs as well? Uh, no, no, no. It's just okay. piles of bones around the pillars. Everywhere I go, there's wizard bullshit. It's almost like this place is made by a fucking wizard or something. <laughs> okay, he's going to check this door. All right, check and it. He's not gonna check it. He's he's no. He's just gonna open the door. He's, not he's just gonna open the door. It's in. All right, so I gotta reach into an old book. All right, level one. Number. Oh God. All right. In the alcove stands an ornate arc. Backed <clears throat> impressive throne, apparently carved out of a single block of stone. It faces outwards towards the corridor. The separated bones of a single human skeleton drift lazily in midair above the seat of the throne, shifting about in an endless jumble. The skull moves, uh, the skull moves but is always facing outwards, turning to look at you. The only bones that are not part of the this endless uh, skeleton, or that are not part of this endless slow dance, are in, t- in fact the feet at the bottom of the skeleton. These are p- positioned on the floor as if the skeleton was sitting on the throne. Yeah, he's gonna dance back and forth a bit to like see if the skull's tracking. Is like he's gonna move up and down like whoa. <laughs> this the oh. end the skull is following your every movement. You'll do the old like hide round the corner and then stick his head out. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> so you <laughs> So you go around the corner. Yeah, you go around the corner. You stick your head out like huh? Peek him Gotta catch it out. Uh, it, 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 if a skull could roll its eyes, it would <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> he's polite for this skull. He'll shut the door on this one. It, it'll be drafty, I'd imagine, with all the fires. Alrighty. Yeah, they're going to keep heading south. Alright. This is a long ass corridor. Yep. And I'm going to start the preload. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, 
you come to a T intersection with what looks like another T intersection right over here. Okay. Um, well, that way it's just going back to where I came from, kind of, at the moment, so I'll go this way. All right. I think it is, at least it's going in that direction. So I have to load a completely different chunk than the one we were going to do because you're an asshole. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. To be fair, this is sort of a bad spot that... Oh, that bit. Yeah. Th there, There's like two bad spots. Well, there's like a million connections to different parts. Yep. Yeah. All right. But uh, it it's better than having I think two more chunks. Yeah. Well, if it if it helps on load times, it will as well. I'd imagine. Yeah. All right, there, and don't you dare fucking turn around. <laughs> Oh, he's not going to, yeah. Yep. All right. He's only going to turn around when he gets sad that he hasn't found the wizard yet. There's, you know, 20, like, there's 23 levels of the dungeon. And he's like, still haven't found the wizard. Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, if I was still wanting to pull a fast one, he'd like teleport him to some pro wizard school and then you're just going to kill him spree. Like, there's wizards everywhere here. <laughs> Fuck you. Just, just fuck you. Oh, yeah, am I going back on the <laughs> chance? Oh. Uh, copy this guy. Go to the <laughs> it's like I thought you were going to go to this one. Nope, nope. I'm going to completely opposite direction now. I don't know where he's going. I'm just going in directions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This was preloaded earlier, so yep, that, that. There you are. Ah. So before you is an altar. Let me just see. Yeah, I'll wait here. Do, 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 do. He has, he, has, he has some link to religion, being a paladin, so I can probably, do I, do I, do I roll for it, or? Oh, uh, hold on one second, here we go. Stone altar, uh, 10 feet by 20 feet and 4 feet high, so it's a little bit shorter than normal altars. Uh, it's probably a dwarf made it, or a halfling, or, no, it's still too tall for a gnome. Um... <clears throat> the top is smooth and unadorned except for at either end where it rises to two sweeping arms formed as though they were candlesticks. Uh, the entire, let's see, one plain thick white candle sits in the socket in this candle bra. Okay. I do a religion check to see like what type of altar it is. Or yep. If Go ahead a... and give me a religion. Uh, let's see. Uh, attributes. Religion. And he's not good. <laughs> uh, th this might be a wizard thing more than more than religious thing. Yeah. Is there a candle in one of them? There's a candle in this one. Okay. And, thi and this one is empty. Hmm. Can I do it? Can I just do an intelligence check to see if I want to try something or if I want to just walk away? Wisdom check. Wisdom check. God, I forgot how dumb and stupid you were. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going to do something dumb to it. Really check. Normal. Oh, yeah, he's doing it. Um, so he's gonna look at the, the one candle, he's gonna pick it up if he can, 
Okay, you you pl pluck the candle out. He's gonna put it in the other one. Okay. Does it do anything? No. He's gonna cut the candle in half. And mm. then stick one in each, if that's possible for the candle. Okay, yep. There are now two candles. Yeah, that's all he does. Okay. He doesn't light the other one, he just like... He, he made it... Well, so not, neither are lit. Oh, okay. Now he's not gonna light them, that's gonna waste them. But he just does that to them. Okay. Right now, where do I go? There's a million directions here. Um, eeny, meeny, miny. You said that took too long. Let's just go west. West. West? Yes, west. Okay. This way's west. <laughs> Wait, no, this is south. <laughs> good, good job, sword. <laughs> Oh, there's a door here. There is a door there. Oh, open door. Mm. I'm gonna go this door. Okay. Or actually, there's that other door as well. Ooh. Give me, hold Ooh. on, hold on. Give me a stealth check. Okay. <laughs> and I, yes, I know you're at disadvantage. Let's see, stealth. This is, what do you get? Okay. Seven. Okay. You good? Now, what do I see in this room? All right, this room um, is five. Uh, it almost looks like a muse, sort of museum esque. There's five uh, half columns that stop. And from the column is a beam of light that goes all the way up to the ceiling, 30 feet in the air. And you see a spear that's standing upright with the blade pointed to the ceiling. A sword standing upright with the blade to the ceiling. A mace with the heavy end up to the top. And an axe just floating above the, these half columns. As well as what looks like to be a playing card of some sort floating in the air above this platform. This is more magic bullshit. I'm going to go that other way. And oh. this Ooh, is where I'm we're attack that. This is where we enter initiative. Yes. Oh, this is not going to ah, go. I give it well. something to fight. <laughs> Midget, oh, no. thank you for the Hundred bitties. I appreciate it. Oh, I rolled for you. I'm sorry. You can re-roll yours. Let me just... No. Uh, remove combatant. There we go. Add combatant. Okay, now you can roll. Hey. Alright. Begin combat. You can go first. Nice. It's like... Ah! Greetings, evildoer. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things, so I'm going to vow of enmity. Okay, so as a bonus action, so this is your bonus, you vow enmity against a creature within 10 feet of you. You, just, you gain advantage for one... Oh, God. All right. <laughs> so you... Uh, yeah, so he's, I've, I've picked him, as you might have guessed. As my um, sworn enemy, gotcha. And then he's gonna take a swing at him, probably. Alrighty. Yeah, it's just an action left, so smacky smack. Smack smack. Uh, I don't think it rolls with advantage. Oh no. How do I? Uh, oh, right, there we go. You just click attack, and then yep. Uh, that is. An eighteen. An eight. Yes. Yeah, so it'll it'll show green. I, I I edited your character sheet. Okay. So that just damage. So that is just normal damage. <clears throat> Oof. Dear God. And that's a magic weapon. Alright. 14 fucking damage. Dear God. Just making sure. Alright. That, that, that actually is unexpected. 
All right. Anything else from you? Um, not just yet. No, that's fine. All right. That's so he actually looks a little insulted that you got the first hit in. <laughs> so he. Let's see. What is this? It's going to become reckless. Nice. The Minotaur so he gets, gets advantage. He gets advantage, but you get advantage, which you already get. Okay. So he's going to swing his great axe. At advantage. Does a 20 hit? Uh, 20 will hit. I can't see the roll, though. Oh, okay. For 12 damage. That would have been... <laughs> That's such a low roll. I reduced that by 3 because heavy armor lost it. Oh, so it's 9 damage. I forgot. I damage. Oh, nice. Um, click on your token and then right click 12. Oh, wait. Shit. Because... Uh, uh, so... It would be 9, wouldn't it? Because Unless it automatically... We, we can test to see if it does the reduction. If it doesn't, we'll know it doesn't work. So what do I do? Uh, right click the 12. Uh, apply damage. Uh, what did it put me on? Yeah. Nah, so it didn't work. So, <clears throat> so you're at 31. I just put that up to 31. Yep, okay. I got you. My turn. That is your turn. Ah, a good sport knows how to fight. <clears throat> right, uh, let's see, I've got a bonus action this time as well. I will cast shield. Uh, uh, that's no, that's me clicking on my shield. I need to cast the spell shield. <laughs> shield of faith, I meant. Yeah, shield of faith. All right. So cast is my bonus. So you're plus so, two AC. And then I'm gonna swing at him again. Let's see. Where's my weapon? So click. Attack. Advantage. Oh, there's the crit, baby. Fucking damn it. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hang on before. I'm going to spend a Divine Smite as well. Divine so Smite. That and that crits as well, so. Because it's on the roll. Uh, this is the Paladin Striker. To hide to shine. Slashing. Uh, features. How do I Divine Smite? Just click it. Yeah, you just click so on that. This one is called Bewildering Display, so double damage, so you get to apply critical damage. Okay, so I'll roll... Um, I don't know how to do the damage for Divine Smite, but I'll do the damage for the weapon first. Oh, and there's something else that kicks in. 21 damage. Oh, my God. <clears throat> um, he's also, because of the slasher... Uh, he has disadvantage on attack rolls to the start of my next turn. So he has straight rolls now. Yeah, so straight rolls. Okay. Uh -huh. And and then the divine smite damage has that hasn't. Uh, just yet. do your standard two d eight. So we'll do. Uh... Oh no, that crits as well because you expend it during the spell slot. So if you crit, it's forty eight. So it's 40, 48 damage. Is it the same as roll 20 yep. the slash roll 48? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that roll. He is oh. Wow, is that what I think it is? Yeah, 1, 4, 1, 1. Oh. That's, it's 28 damage altogether, but, you know, that's like the most wet noodle Divine Smite I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so he looks a little worried now. Glorian's smiling at him, like, even when he hits Glorian, he's like, you know, he's used to taking hundreds of blows to the head. You see it puff out its chest like it takes a deep breath. Oh, it's also got reduced speed. Sorry, go on. And... It huffs, and it puffs, and it blows your house down. Ooh, this, so I'll take, I need to make a deck save. DC 14, he isn't good at these. Uh, do I just click that? 
Uh, just click on your token and click the save throw. Oh, God, I made it. God damn it. <laughs> you wanted it to do good. All right. So that will be a total of 26. So you can just click on your token and right click was... half, half damage. damage. Cool. Wojik Kujut. Thank you for the subscription. What is that? Why didn't it show my normal subscription? Weird. <clears throat> All right. So you took thirteen fire damage. Yep. That was that was its its action. So it is your turn. Okie dokie. Um, how am I looking? Where so is got shield of. Oh, I need to do a con save for Shield of Faith. Hang on. Nope, that Shield of Faith's gone. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see, so I've got one spell slot. Ignore that. I'm just making shit. Okay, All I'm right. just gonna hit, hit him. Burn his up. Yeah, we're just gonna hit him. Uh, he'll, he'll just try and take a swing at him, and then I'll do my bonus. Actually, I'm going to hunt his mark, and then I'm going to swing at him. Okay, hunt his mark. Ask. Yep, uh, let me click that spell for you. And then attack. And you're at advantage. 19. Uh... That will hit. <clears throat> cool. So damage. And this is the night to do the Hunt's Mark damage as well. So 12 more damage. 12 more damage. All right. Anything else from you? Nope. Kenny. Let's see what happens. He's able to catch his breath again. And he yeah. goes in for the great... Uh, he'll go in for the great axe. At disadvantage. So straight roll. 19. And it'll still hit. Uh, Alright, here comes the pain. What so the five. fuck? <laughs> so he takes five damage. Uh, yeah. That... Why? That is... You you, you saddened me, Mr. Minotaur, with that roll. Uh, he is going to, as his action, lay on hands, I think, just to get his health up. Uh, so he's going to spend the 20. Okay, all 20. Yeah, just to put himself up to see. Can I just click it? Or? Yeah, you should be able to click it. I think I clicked it. Ah, uh, shit. So yeah, you're just going to have to put 20 hit points on it. Alright, so that's 33 then. Bonus action, he already has him hunters marked. Uh, yeah, that's the turn. Minotaur gets to do what he wants. Alright, Minotaur will take another swing at normal swing. Ooh, that hits. For damage. That's a bit better. So that, that's, that, that's a normal hit for a Minotaur. There you go. <laughs> this, <laughs> this Minotaur's been feeling under the weather lately. Yeah. Uh, his turn, he's going to take a swing at him. All right. Let's see. With advantage. 18. 18. That will hit. So then damage and then 15 damage. And then Hunter's Mark damage. Uh, I don't want to consume it, it's already active. Uh, so 18 damage altogether. It is slain. Did I try and intimidate it as a bonus action? Uh, no, unfortunately not. That's fine. But it does... It, it, it takes a deep breath. Yep, this is probably death. Uh, let's see. Deck save. 
Yeah, he fails the deck save. That might be it. Oh, shit. Damage. Here we go. 24. Yep, that'll put him out. Yeah, he's dead. Well, he's down. Uh, Ripperino. <clears throat> Why is it 2d12? Because it's a minotaur. It's one size larger. It's it's a beast. How, how low with his health? You don't want to know. <laughs> you seriously don't want to know. He had four hit points left. Needs. Damn, so like, if you don't want it, a better attack early, you would have got him. That's a shame. Yep. And I, I was trying to do his breath every other turn if he made the charge. Oh, well, that's the one. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Nah, nah, that's cool. I'm fine with it. I expected it to happen. <laughs> Minotaur wins. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, the midget changed his name. Nice. I will add those points. So that is 45 plus uh, 8. So that is 53. I mean, you were so close to having this guy. Oh, yeah. And, like, for a 1v1 in Minotaur, that's pretty good. That is really good. Uh, <laughs> he should have wiped the floor with you, a like, a turn ago. But apparently he's been feeling under weather with his rolls because, dear God. I think if it was a standard Minotaur, you would have killed it. What is this? What is a standard Minotaur face-to-face? -face? It doesn't have the breath weapons. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the same in every way. It just doesn't have that. All right. Yeah, I upgrade because there used to be two Minotaurs in this maze. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Let's, let's do the Ember Horn. No, there were two Minotaurs and a Minotaur Skeleton. So I actually nerfed it quite a bit. Got you. Um, so... I might put your body... Where am I going to put your body? You'd like knock him flying into this room. Uh no. He's probably going to drag you to his quote-unquote lair. Which will be... So you'll... Your body will be here. That's cool. That's basically where he starts out. As soon as anyone enters th this zone of hallways... It's considered his labyrinth, and he's on the hunt, sort of like the terror. Alrighty. Well, that's a wrap, folks. So. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm fine with it. Alright, so Glorian has an interesting character. To be honest, I didn't expect Glorian to live because it's Glorian. Because it's Glorian. That... And you've seriously went toe to toe with him. All right, I'm gonna end the stream here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's a good time to wrap up. I think. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's any of anyone for us to raid. Uh, let's go to Twitch. Um. We'll go say hi to Deliriash. We haven't said hi to her in a while. So, let's raid Deliria. Alright, everyone tell Deliria I said hi. Uh, she's, a, she's a great person in the community. Um, what is she playing right now? She is playing Hades. That's a fun game. All right, tell her I said hi, and you all have a wonderful night. Mark, thanks for playing. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the uh, 
the biddies and you have a good one